I know other families in Jacksonville are suffering, you know, and there are a lot of cases and probably not enough detectives. One family search for justice. Why they say they are frustrated with the lack of charges in their father's murder, even though there have been arrests. Tonight, that Jacksonville family is waiting for closure eight months after their father was found dead. 69-year-old Gary Tripp Sr. was shot and killed inside his Merivale Road home along the Rebalt River back in April. Since the shooting, Tripp's credit card was found in Lisa Williams' possession. Williams was charged with fraudulent use of a credit card. She is out of jail tonight. News for Jack's reporter Destiny McKeever joining us live after speaking with Tripp's son. And Destiny, we can understand why the family is frustrated. They are very frustrated and Tripp's son telling me tonight that his father did not deserve what happened to him. So he says he will continue to fight for justice until he receives it. It's been eight months since his murder and still no arrests. Gary Tripp Sr. was a 69 year old disabled veteran. He was tragically shot and killed back in April inside of his Rebolt River home. Today, Tripp's family wants closure in his case. It's been eight months since he was murdered. So far, family says two people were arrested. One woman, 51-year-old Lisa Dion Williams, was arrested and charged with fraudulent use of a credit card. Gary Tripp Jr. says the woman used his dad's card to buy cigarettes and lawn lights before he died. Something you have to go through that you know you got to get through. It'll um, never be the same again. Um, but I was able to go out to the veterans cemetery and they had it, you know, they had it set up nice. So Tripp says he spent his first holiday without his father and the worst part about it, there have been no murder arrests made. Tonight, Tripp Jr. wants people to tell police what they know about his dad's murder. Don't stop. Don't give up. Even though, you know, I have my moments feeling like it's going to be a cold case, but I still got faith that justice will be served. And if you have any idea who murdered Gary Tripp Sr., the detectives from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office would like to hear from you. Reporting live from the north side tonight, I'm Destiny McHeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.